Can you ever just not find the right emoji? Like whenever we have to write release posts like this one we did last week. Coming up with emojis is sometimes quite hard. We always end up having to do some gymnastics. The mental exercise that you need to do is translating that into a keyword that you find the emoji for. And oftentimes you just don't remember the word. Like what's this thing called again? The round toy thing kids play with? Oh, a yo-yo, but you have to put the hyphen or else it's not going to find it. A lot of times I have this emoji in mind where you put the finger on your mouth and I search this with psst, like just like silence basically. But I don't find it and it's very frustrating. A few weeks ago, we came up with a pretty cool solution. Raycast's emoji picker with AI suggestions. And I had a chat with Thomas, our CEO, to hear all about how this feature came to be. Now what I can do, I can go in, open the emoji picker, and I basically can just type what I wanted to have. So for example, let's take the first one here, arguments and snippets to quickly alter them. So I would go in here and I would say, X snippets, that's what it is about. So here you go, I have this emoji memo, which I can take. The real changes here is like, you don't do this manual work of trying to match the keywords for emoji. You literally just type in what you want to have. But what exactly is it that makes this special? Every emoji picker works the same way. So they have keywords that map to certain emojis. So if you type in smile, you find smiley emojis. If you type in LOL, you find laughing emojis. But you sort of need to know those keywords to find the emojis. It reminded me a bit of when I was in school and had to learn vocabulary for a different language, where you had to learn this vocabulary to communicate with that. We realized though, that this sort of strict key value approach quickly reaches its limitations. What I then started experimenting is using our AI chat to get a list of suggestions for an emoji when I type something like that. That kind of worked. After all, LLMs are pretty good at this type of task. AI is very generic. Which is not what I expect when I launch the emoji picker. You have a very niche use case. You want to find an emoji. So you can optimize for that instead of like having to think about everything. We just give me three to five emojis and that's really what I need. This is sort of how I came up with the idea of maybe we don't use the AI chat, but maybe we integrate AI into the emoji picker. It almost feels like it's always supposed to work like this. Cool. So how did we come up with this? This is basically how most of the features getting built at Raycos. I had this idea, I think it took me an hour to get like a rough prototype going. And then I shared it in our internal Slack and say, hey, wouldn't it be cool if the emoji picker would just work with AI? And then the team found it's really cool and jumped on it. It actually was quite a surprising response because just in a matter of like days, people changed the behavior, how they search emojis. Uh, some people search in their native language. Some other people realized, oh, I can just type in what I think and don't need to match those keywords again. This is how it worked at first. You would search for an emoji, just like before. If you type something in and no emoji is getting matched, we fall back to AI. This allows you to type in whatever you want and automatically we start searching with AI for it. This was a really good default experience. But some of us wanted more control. Hey, I want to trigger the AI suggestions explicitly. Well, it turns out we already had this sort of behavior elsewhere in the root search. Every time you look for something or you want an answer, you can press tab and quick AI will do its job. We did the same in the emoji picker. So if you type something in there and you want to explicitly search with AI, you can just press tap and it automatically starts searching with AI and gives you suggestions. And then it really is the same experience as the rest of the emoji picker. You can use all the actions, you can paste the emoji, you can copy its Unicode. One of the things we wanted to do is we wanted to integrate AI very naturally into the emoji picker. We also did some explorations with the loading screen animation. What we really wanted to do is the animation while AI is figuring out which emojis you look for. We wanted to make it feel like that, like almost that AI is guessing which emoji you want. So what's next? The same way as we started building the emoji picker, we continue building it. 
basically today when we recorded the video, I added a new feature there, which is called custom keywords. So one of the things that we noticed is when you search with AI, it always searches with AI and it's rather slow, especially if you want to find the same things over and over and we have certain habits. So now, whenever you search with AI and pick an emoji, Raycast will save the query locally as a keyword. It sounds like a small feature, but it actually is really cool because over time, how you search emojis becomes much more personal because now the keywords are not static as they were at the beginning. They're very dynamic. So whatever you search for, you find it the same way as you searched it before. And it's all transparent. So you can also look up what are the keywords that are saved. You can modify them. So that's sort of the next stage here, hopefully releasing that soon.